committed in 2018, we may not have even been aware of. Other sins that we committed, we are all too aware of. As we reflect on 2018, maybe you think of some harsh words that you spoke that hurt a loved one, and you wish you could take them back, but you can't. Or maybe a, a, a sinful action that, that hurt your relationship with somebody else or one that you got in trouble for. And still other sins we committed, nobody saw us. We didn't get caught. Except our Creator did see us, didn't He? He sees all and He knows all. Our sins of 2018 are too many to count, but we remember them. But I have some good news for you as we stand on the brink of a new year. We may remember the sins of 2018, but God doesn't. The sins of the last year do not follow us into the new year. They are forgotten by our God. They're forgotten not because He is forgetful, like a feeble-minded old man. He's our Creator. He is all-knowing and all-powerful. He does not forget things. It isn't that he can't remember our sins. It's that he chooses not to remember them. It's not as if our sins are just not a big deal and he overlooks them. He's the holy God, remember. He cannot and will not tolerate sin nor sinners. But God does not remember our sins of 2018 because he sent his son Jesus. Jesus who lived and who died for us. When Jesus died, our sins died with him, and so did their memory. Brothers and sisters, as we remember the sins of 2018, let us rejoice that God does not. Let's listen to how God describes that using the words of Jeremiah, the prophet, chapter 31. The time is coming, declares the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. It will not be like the covenant I made with their forefathers when I took them by the hand to lead them out of Egypt, because they broke my covenant, though I was a husband to them, declares the Lord. This is the covenant I will make with the house of Israel after that time, declares the Lord. I will put my law in their minds and write it on their hearts. I will be their God and they will be my people. No longer will a man teach his neighbor or a man his brother, saying, Know the Lord, because they will all know me, from the least of them to the greatest, declares the Lord. For I will forgive their wickedness and will remember their sins no more. This is the word of our Lord. Please stand 